Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel Tirtha Spoken English Service Center which gives you a golden opportunity to learn English in a natural way. Friends, this is Paraya Padalanka. I'm pretty good. I hope you're also fine. Today, we're going to enjoy one more wonderful story. The name of the story is The Necklace. Okay, friends, without any further delay, let's jump into our story. Once, there was a girl named Matilda. She was pretty and admirable girl, born into a family of uh, poor artisans in Paris. She was married to a small clerk in the Ministry of Education. She always wanted to enjoy every delicacy and luxury. One evening, my dear friends, her husband came home happily. He held an invitation to a birthday party to be held on January 26th. Matilda started crying when her husband told about the birthday party. Then her husband asked, Hey dear, why are you crying? Please tell me what happened. Then Matilda controlled herself. Nothing. And said calmly, I don't have a good dress for the party. Even a single one. I don't have anything. Then the husband offered to buy her a suitable dress for the party. Costing about uh, 400 francs. And then the day for the party drew near. Our Matilda became sadder. She complained, I have no jewels. I have absolutely no jewels to wear for the party. <laughs> then her husband told her to borrow some jewels from her rich friend Jen. Then Matilda the next day met her friend and told her problem. Jan went to her dressing table, took out a large box, opened it and said, My dear Matilda, choose it, whatever, I'm sorry, choose whatever you like. Then Matilda saw so many bracelets, pearl necklaces, earrings in gold and gems, my dear friends. It was difficult for Matilda to decide what to take. Then suddenly, she discovered a beautiful necklace among those jewels in the box. Her hands trembled as she lifted it. Then she anxiously asked her friend, Dear Jen, could you please lend me this, please? Then Jen replied, Of course, my dear, you can have it. The day for the party arrived, my dear friends. Our Matilda was the prettiest woman present in the party. She danced madly. Her husband and uh, Matilda danced for a long time and left for home. And while changing her dresses, I'm sorry, while changing the dress, she uttered a cry. The necklace was no longer around her neck. They furiously searched for it in the folds of her, her dresses and all over the way, but it was nowhere. They went to the police and the newspapers to, re to offer a reward. But my dear friends, it was also of no use. Then finally, the couple had lost all their hopes. To gain time, Matilda wrote uh, to her friend Jan that the clasp of the necklace was broken and she was having it mended. After a long search, my dear friends, they could find a similar necklace in a shop that worth about uh, 36,000 francs. Matilda had 18,000 francs only 
she borrowed the rest now my dear friends matilda our matilda entered the life of terrible poverty matilda and her husband took 10 years of time to pay the debt off completely matilda looked old now but sometimes she thought of that beautiful evening long ago and my dear friends one sunday suddenly she saw a woman taking a child for out for a for a walk she went up to her and asked and said i'm sorry good morning my dear jane then jane looked closely at her and surprised that an ordinary looking woman had addressed her so familiarly then she asked matilda i mean jane asked matilda do i know you then matilda replied hey dear this is friend this is your friend matilda then matilda told everything her friend that had happened in the end matilda halted and was looking wide eyed and uh, open mouthed at her friend what have you bought a diamond necklace for replace mine to replace mine she asked yes my dear jen you didn't observe it did you <laughs> matilda laughed smiled in innocent happiness and after hearing those words of her friend matilda jen grabbed both matilda's i'm sorry grabbed both matilda's hands and said Oh my poor Matilda but my necklace that I lent you was just imitation it was worth about uh, just 500 francs only then our Matilda reacted well friends this is simply all about the story so for any mistakes i'm so sorry and thank you very much for having me one more fabulous opportunity thank you thank you so much